Hey, Bernie Borges, CMO of Ingresso here, and I am joined today by Carrie Green. Carrie, welcome. Hey, thanks, Bernie. Good to be with you. Well, Carrie, I invited you here, and thank you for joining me here today to, uh, first, why don't you begin with introducing yourself to uh, our viewers? Yeah, my name is Kerry Green. I am the CEO and client happiness guy of a company called Podcast Fast Track. And we do podcast production and show notes as a service for busy podcasters who love their podcasts but hate the time suck. Yep. Love your title, Client Happiness. Um, love the fact that you support our two podcasts. So thank you for that. Yeah. Um, so you recently went through our Selling with LinkedIn on demand course. So tell us a little bit about how were you using LinkedIn previous to taking the course? Yeah, well, I have to be honest and say not very well and very sporadically. Um, I was just jumping into conversations on LinkedIn, posting things very intermittently, uh, not real strategic in how I posted when I did. So I was probably an ideal candidate for your course. I really didn't know what I was doing on LinkedIn. So when you signed up for the course, what did you expect? Like, what were your expectations going into the course? Well, my first expectation was I couldn't, uh, I couldn't do any worse than I already was. So <laughs> that's not a very lofty goal. But I also had seen enough content from you and Mario and Vivica in particular that I knew that the course likely was going to over deliver on what it promised. And I found that to be entirely true. Okay. So, uh, as you know, the course is 100% online, on demand. Um, tell us a, l a little bit about what you actually experienced in terms of how you went through it. What was that experience like for you? Well, being on demand, I could naturally do it whenever I had the time or had scheduled it in to do. And that's what I did. I went through it just a little bit at a time, bite-sized chunks. And I found it very helpful in the sense that it's practical. It gives lots of uh, resources and downloadables that you can actually put into action right away. And I worked really hard to do that. I had a few s seasons where I had overwhelm in the business side of things uh, due to the business growth and, and issues that came up. So I had to put my study on pause, but it was very easy to come back and just jump right into the course again. So I found it very uh, doable. Terrific. Has it changed the way you think, the way you approach LinkedIn? Has it changed your behavior at all on LinkedIn? Yeah, absolutely. I learned so much about what goes into a good profile, a good LinkedIn approach, a good uh, response to people who ask you questions or interact with you on LinkedIn. And it's changed my behavior also in terms of the strategy that I come to LinkedIn uh, with. I'm much more planned and intentional and I'm still building out a process actually for posting videos more often and posting content more often that will help my network. I love that you say you're much more planned and intentional. And, and I think that's, that's a testimony to how it's changed your behavior. What kind of results are you seeing so far? I know it's only been a month or two since you went through the course, but what, you know, what, what, what are you seeing? Yeah, it's been about a month and a half since I finished the course and I started applying what I was learning right away. So I've been at it for probably four or five months and I am seeing a lot more uh, sales conversations, people who are interested in podcasting and the services that we provide. You don't always get into that aspect of it right away, but you're able to develop relationships. And then it's a very short matter of time in my case until we're actually talking about the things that they're having uh, pain over regarding their podcasts and getting things rolling toward uh, a, po a possible service package for them. It's been uh, a very big turnaround in terms of, what I was seeing out of LinkedIn before. So more sales conversations. That's really fundamentally what it's about. You're seeing that? Yeah, absolutely. A lot more. Terrific. Well, Carrie, you obviously know something about us. You, know, you, you work with me and my podcast, Mario and his podcast. Uh, so you know something about Vingresso, but what advice would you have to someone for someone who maybe doesn't know anything about Vingresso who comes across our promotional efforts on our Selling with LinkedIn course what advice would you have for them who are, they're just checking it out for the first time? You know, maybe they're on the fence, you know, what would you say to them? Yeah, well, I think what I would say is the issue of learning how to use LinkedIn wisely is something a lot of people talk about. I hear client podcasters who have a guest on who supposedly is a LinkedIn expert. And I hear a lot of their advice and compared to what I learned in, the, in your course, uh, I would say, don't waste your time. Jump into the selling on LinkedIn course that Vingresso offers the first chance you get because they know better and they know a lot more about LinkedIn and it's evident in the course. 
Terrific. Um, I should also point out for our viewer that it's more than just a course. It's an online community. You have access to it for a 12 month subscription where you can ask questions and network with other people. So uh, I don't know if you've had a chance to take advantage of any of that, but uh, we want to make sure that uh, we make that, that point out to, uh, to the viewer. Yeah, absolutely. I haven't actually been able to, but I'm looking forward to that. Terrific. Well, Carrie, I want to give you an opportunity to plug your service. Uh, you know, part of taking the course is that you get a chance to network with us and network with our network. So tell our viewer where they can connect with you and learn more about your awesome podcasting services. Well, I appreciate that, Bernie. Yeah, we are Podcast Fast Track. We are a, a full service podcast production and show notes creation company. And there's a lot of ancillary services that we offer, including consulting and strategy around podcasts and how to get the best ROI from your efforts. So just like any content marketing channel, you've got to be purposeful and strategic about it. And we've worked with hundreds of clients over the six years we've been in existence and have seen a lot of what works and a lot of what doesn't. So we can bring some knowledgeable strategy to podcasters about how to make their podcast hit their target market the very best it can. So just reach out, podcastfasttrack.com. And where on LinkedIn can you be found? <laughs> yeah, my uh, company page and my personal page are there as well. Carrie in green on LinkedIn. Fantastic. Well, I want to be clear. You've, you've graciously agreed to come on this video recording to give us a testimonial on selling with LinkedIn. And I'm very genuinely willing to give you an endorsement. Your service is terrific. We really appreciate what you do for the Modern Selling Podcast and the Modern Marketing Engine Podcast. So on that note, Carrie, thank you so much. And we'll see you on LinkedIn. Thanks. Same here, Bernie.